All right, let's go. Ayo, we're three hot guys sharing our opinions because we're special and different. Gold medals, we're winning. Can't help it if we're burdened by our intellect. You can play checkers while we pretend we know the rules to chess. The council has spoken, and we are the chosen. Your nose is broken because I broke it. And welcome back to another episode of Will of the Council. I'm your host, Joseph Rothschild. We have Danny being mentioned first here for some reason. Oh, uh, hey, what's up? Feeling good. And we have the birthday boy, oh, Jordan. It's me. It's my birthday. Yay. Woo. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. To you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, dear Jordan. Jordan. I hope you get to kill a redditor. <laughs> oh yeah, redditors. <laughs> yeah, and 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 Rebby on the ones and twos. Your birthday present is syncing that up. <laughs> Woo! It's not too bad. It's pretty good. We were on court. Yeah. I've, you, did you know that Danny's a theater major? Uh, we both are. I think. Every, wait, is is everyone here a theater yes, kid? We're all yes, theater kids. Yes, we're all theater kids. I know. Kids. We should have. We should have done better than that. Yeah. It's it's uh, all right. Just blame it on Discord latency or whatever. That's no big deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I hear Discord has a new feature that makes you off key and sound like shit too. Oh, yep. that's that's rough. You forgot to turn that off. Obviously, it's all good. Oh though. man, um, my bad. Uh, speaking of feeling like shit, right now I'm feeling pretty bad, and that's because I don't get to go into the office anymore to do work yep. now that I do uh, Yu-Gi-Oh full time. So I'm always uh, saying, Danny, this. would you like to tell us uh, what we're missing out on? Yeah, for sure. So this start of our episode is. A post from one of my favorite news, news in the biggest quotes sites, the New York Post. Wonderful, Great. amazing site. Uh, here's the title. Gen Z women have gotten significantly hornier in return to office work. Here's why. And then colon study. <laughs> All right. Well, here's the deal. I'm gonna I'm gonna horny mog Gen Z women because I'm horny wherever I go. I'm always horny. It doesn't matter if I'm in the office. I'm or not. always on. I'm always on. That, that, that's my secret cap. That's my secret cap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Secondly, not to give the game away a little bit too fast, but hmm, trying to make returning to the office sound good. New York Post is posting it. Mm. <laughs> so listen, I can tell you, I can smell BlackRock all over yep. this. <laughs> we are in the grip of BlackRock incentivizing us with black cock. Well, I swear to God, <laughs> they're trying to do everything they can to make us go back into the office. It's not going to happen. Not it's happening, not going to happen. I'm sitting my ass in my fucking desk chair at home. Uh, did you know you can get railed on a flexi spot desk <laughs> if you go into work? Yeah. Great, great news. I have uh, the ability to <laughs> jerk off in front of my computer. Computer. Yep. <laughs> Talk about a jiggler job, you know. <laughs> oh, the, the source is from <clears throat> datingnews.com. Thank you, datingnews.com. Thank you, a very credible source. I, you know, maybe they did some work here, but the beginning of it is that Gen Z women have become the horniest among people coming back into the office. Overall, about 46% of Americans oh, surveyed said they'd experience. Wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> Read that back to me. Gen Z women have become the horniest among people who have come back to the office. Most, yeah, so let me quote it again. Most Americans experience changes in their sexual desires upon returning to the office, weird, in person, with about half seeing their sex drive increase and the other half seeing it decrease. But Gen Z women have become the horniest. So Okay, I, I'm already seeing a methodological problem with this, which is that they <laughs> only surveyed people who went back to work. Correct. You know, yes. Uh, Gen Z women are the horniest among the people who went back to the office, but that's like being, you know, the horniest person at the death camp. You know, you don't want to be going, but you're going to make the most of it, right? Right. right. And I, I think that what this is showing us is that Gen Z women are the least soul destroyed. Like they yes. still have a little bit of light behind their eyes. Me, I'm walking to the office like with the, I mean, it, 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 let, let me just tell you that nothing downstairs is waking up for anything as soon as I have to open up Excel. Yeah. Well, so it's funny you say that because in the article they found 46% of Americans surveyed said they've experienced an increase in sexual desire since returning 
while the other 40% experience a decrease when they go to the office. Wait, so why isn't it half? At, so they, this really is not a study. They just be like, <laughs> so half of people get horny when they go to the office and half don't, which is true of like everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like just like experiencing normal life. Wow. Can look at all these people being horny and also not horny. <laughs> aren't they but hold on though, not to give give credence to the study here, but aren't they saying that like the demographic like most groups are 50-50 more horny, less horny now like when going back to the office. But aren't they saying that like Gen Z women is the demographic that like it's like 60 40 instead of 50 50? Is that what they're I, I thought kind that's of? What yeah, trying to say. So, however, you know, that's that's the normal range of like just people. So that's like yeah. not really interesting. But the interesting part they found is that Gen Z females, they, that's from the article, 56 percent of them are getting the most hot and bothered when going into the office. They attribute Wait, shut that. the fuck up. <laughs> The, uh, the huge outlier stat in the 50-50 study is 56%. Yes. You're sh Stop the fucking presses, dog. Oh we gotta 56%? get this out today. 56%? Oh my god. <laughs> my, you know, um, upper middle management is, like, writing this article uh, at the, like, office <laughs> to get me back in. <laughs> What's the ROI on cum? <laughs> <laughs> What's our ARR on, you know, being horny? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't go back to the investors with these numbers <laughs> i don't know the no shareholders won't even get any pre-cum how am i supposed to go to the board of directors with this amount of cum it's not enough it's not enough <laughs> they attributed their growing it's sexual awful, appetite awful. to an improvement in their mental health with 22 percent of young females citing that as a key improvement reason in mental health going back to work okay. yeah. oh yeah like, of course sure. of course yeah oh, improvement <laughs> yeah. in mental health by going back to the office yeah that's what I need. I need to see a beige cubicle. That's what I want. When I go to the office, I think positive mental attitude. That's where it happens, <laughs> yep, baby. For sure. Love oh that. Oh, my God. I this was especially true for singles. Uh, what? <laughs> Wait, the singles want to have sex more? Wait, is that true? <laughs> Wait, that's crazy. What? This is quotes from the study authors. This shows how we're working remotely has affected the mental health of young single people who perhaps spent a is, lot more is time. Is that what it shows? <laughs> who spent a lot more time alone during lockdowns than those who are or were in a relationship. Now that they're able to interact in the office with their coworkers again, they're feeling better and they're feeling in the mood to make up for lost time. Let me let me offer an alternative hypothesis here. Maybe the reason singles are more horny than people who are married in an office is because when you go into an office, there is no chance that you're going to get wife pussy, right? Yes. Like if you're in a relationship, the other person isn't there, so you can't get horny for them, right? Yes. Like, what am I crazy? What the, this, this proves nothing, you right? Know, you can just, this like, is just <laughs> classic. Like you I'm just gonna, write anything, I'm man. I'm going to get data and then just make up my own conclusion about it. Like, I also, this is my favorite thing is when they like figure out the hypothesis after the study is yes, done. Yes, exactly. They're like, exactly. And now that we have the data, here's what it shows. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, it's, this is good. I, I gotta say, I personally don't buy it. I don't believe it. I think that this was written like with one hand by a bunch of like 75 year old investment bankers who watch a little too much of one specific category on the hub. But I personally, you know, when I was working a nine to five, I think probably that was the worst I ever felt in my entire life. And every second that I was away from it, I was horny. But when I was there, it was like, you know, crushed with a mallet. Yeah, no, oh, it's, yeah. it's, I don't know. I'm blessed enough and lucky enough to have like a hybrid job, right? So it's like, Two days in the office, three days at home, or like one day in the office at four days at home. It's just like, I don't know, we are whatever. It's just whatever the team is doing. And it's like, it's nice to have sort of like the break up the day to go in the office. But oh my God, yeah. it's not, I'm not getting horny when I walk into the office. Like, what the? It might be like, you know, some of these people don't see people outside of the office. Yes. So like maybe, you know, interacting with people of the opposite sex is like, okay, that's something. But if that's what's getting you horny is like, well, this is the only time I ever see a woman. Ah, oh, man, dude, you got other problems. Yeah, yeah I, I know. <laughs> I know. People need to just, I we say this all, all the time in our own, like, other respective content, but, like, wow, people need something that gets them out of the house and gets them around people routinely. Like, yeah. a run club or a community garden or something. It's so funny that this, like, article refuses to think about, like, okay, maybe why would this be the case, right? Maybe they unfortunately are kind of forced to go back to the office 
And the one like nice thing is that they maybe are single and they get to like speak with other, you know, good looking people who they like and are like coworkers. And it's like, oh, you know, maybe I'm a little hornier in this public space where we're all nice to each other and we have a community ish, but it's all forced upon us by our company. Like, you yeah. know, what if you just like went out and like had a good time somewhere else? Yeah, I think they'd be pretty horny going out from their desk job. Yeah, like, why do you think people get horny when they go to the bar, right? Like, oh, <laughs> you go and you meet people of the opposite. You're around people of the opposite sex. Like, I don't think it's the fucking office that, that's the aphrodisiac. Right. exactly. My cubicle is making my wiener hard. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? No. God, I love sitting at a mesh back desk chair Ugh. in front of an Excel document. Oh my god. I'm looking at the other stuff on the New York Post. I just, I love this publication so, so fucking much. Here's what we have. <clears throat> I make 20k a month from photos on my camera roll. Here's the hack. NJ residents forced to stay indoors after town plagued with disgusting smell of rotting fish. But what else is new? Thousands are calling for G-string bikinis to be banned. Pregnant no! wife catches husband cozying up with another woman and... Olive Garden customer reveals hack to get two pastas and sides for $6.99 amid inflation. <laughs> That's just making the news. That one's for me. I do like, you know, giving this person some sort of like uh, title or accolade is like, fuck, they're not going to click the link if it says rando. Uh, what is this person? Olive Garden customer. That's how I actually want to be referred to. I'm going to have the Chiron <laughs> yeah, under my name is this Olive Garden customer, Joseph Rothschild. I've been there. Olive Garden customer Joseph Rothschild, close to meeting his uh, 200,000 YouTube subscriber goal. <laughs> oh, my God. You got me thinking about Olive Garden a lot lately. I don't know Ugh. why. It's just like Let's I've go. talked about now Olive that's Garden. A, that's a place I get horny. Yeah, that's it. That's, me too, that's man. That's true. That's true. Let me just say, I, I'll be going in on that white sauce, you know? <laughs> and, you know so, if I'm feeling it, sometimes I'll be going in on the red sauce. Oh. I ain't picky. Oh, you know? my God. <laughs> I have to destroy you. My life's Let's mission. just say, though, that uh, at this age, my breadsticks are a little more limited than they used to be. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. You all ready to fucking get on, get the show on the uh, road? Yeah. yeah. Now, speaking of places that make us not horny, reddit.com. Reddit. <laughs> oh, well, this first one, let's just see if uh, you get horny about this. This comes from Best of Redditor Updates, which we keep coming back to. It's so wonderful. It's, this is a good one. I've been loving this one. The title of this one is, and keep it in your pants, peeps, Will I Be the Asshole? for grave robbing our family pet. Why would you, why me, <laughs> what? What the hell is wrong? All right, so before you get, you know, too excited about this one, keep in mind that this pet was buried in the pet cemetery and they're trying to prevent it from coming back as an evil version of the pet. Oh, true, right, right. okay, yeah. Okay, so this one, they have attached a trigger warning to it, which says trigger warning depression. And me personally, I would think there would be at least one more trigger warning on the exhuming the body of a dog post. Yeah, but what do I know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Our dog passed three days ago. She predated my daughter and even my wife. Holy moly. So wow. it was especially hard on me. We had a little burial in our backyard and my daughter ate, said a few words. We put her favorite blanket and toy in the coffin I made and I buried her. But unbeknownst to me... My daughter snuck in another toy. I had a stuffed penguin that I've had for nearly 15 years. It was something I bought for my previous dog before this one, and the new dog played with it a lot too. I wanted to keep the toy forever because it represented two dogs I've owned, not just the one, and I kept it on my home office desk and had no intention of ever getting rid of it. I guess my daughter thought it should be with her too, so she took it, put it in the coffin, and buried it. I only found out today after asking her what the penguin went. I'm not going to get mad at her for it, but this cut deep. No fault of her own, she didn't know, but... I'm left with a hard decision. I think tonight, while everybody's asleep, I am going to dig up the coffin, pry it open, get the penguin back, and then rebury the coffin. I made mention of this to my wife as a joke to gauge her reaction, and she said it was a dark joke and no sane person would do it. I might have to do it and never tell her or anyone else. Would I be the asshole for grave robbing our family pet to retrieve a stuffed penguin? Okay. Before we think on things, what a terrible idea to do a joke about it to gauge the reaction. Yeah, that's right? bad. A am I like, sorry, that's some shit I would do. <laughs> no, 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 no. True, but sorry, like, but like I, that the, is... I mean, I, the idea behind it is that like, they think it's a joke, right? So like, mm -hmm. you can't like gauge the reaction if they think it's a joke. <laughs> uh, what if I grave robbed our dog <laughs> instead of just being normal? <laughs> like. It's yeah. like, ha ha ha, that was kind of a dark joke. Why did you say that? Yeah. <laughs> like, 
Uh, anyway, I, I've not tried to, to think about the post yet, but I was just, I just thought that was funny. No, you're right. And I think that's actually a good way to start this is like when you're dealing with something that's like very serious to you, you should communicate the severity of it as well, right? Like you don't want to like pad it at all. Like if this is something that's really meaningful to you, I think your partner would be more open to embracing the meaning of it if you were transparent about how meaningful it was to you, right? Like, you don't want to start off by being like, oh, this isn't that big of a deal, but how funny would it be? You know, like, no, like, they're probably going to be more open to it if like, hey, this is actually like a really serious thing that I wanted to bring up, you know, that is how I would, especially if it means this much to you, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I get it. I just want to start with that. I don't know how, it's just funny because it just sounds like a sitcom. Like, at this point, it's like, (laughs) <laughs> like you go in and it's like full house and it's like, <laughs> what if I accidentally left, you know, my toy that yeah. I loved in the, yeah. in the grave and they're like, and I got it back and they're all like, no, that's wrong. And then they go, shit. And then the audience oh. laughs like, <laughs> like that's where we're at with this. The laugh track plays, you know? Yeah. <laughs> okay. But here's the problem is by giving it to the wife as a potential joke and her not reciprocating. Now it's over. Yeah, now, yeah. Now, if you yes. go get it, it's going to be a problem. Yes, yes, exactly. Because you've made the joke. Yes. So I guess I'll start off since I'm being annoying about this. It, is this that big of a deal? If I'm if, sorry, if he just like you are one hundred percent correct. It, is it a big deal? Like, am I crazy? It, it was a mistake. It was a mistake by the daughter. It was a, just a, a cute mistake, right? Like the the yeah. daughter grabbed something by accident. This is so. I hate to say this. Isn't this easy? Don't you just say like, oh, honey, our daughter put the toy that was like a memory of my accident with the dog. Can we go get it? And you go, sure. And you go get the toy as a, as a memory. Is that it? Am I crazy? Am I, is that too wrong? No, you're not crazy. I think it's exactly right. Like, no, that's like a, that's a item I have that is like a really precious memory and I never want to get rid of it, you know? So you go get it. Right? <laughs> That's, it's very simple. What if it wasn't a toy? What if it was just like a small picture? Right? Yeah. It's like the same mm-hmm. thing. And like the daughter did it by mistake. And you go, okay, I mean, I'm not mad at my eight year old, but I'll just go yeah. get it. Like, that's yeah. it. The end of story. Who cares? It's not like they buried their dog in like a public cemetery. Then it'd be like, maybe I'd get being maybe weirded out by it. And people would think you're weird. Like, okay, dude, that's like a public place. But it's in their backyard, right? Like, it's like, yeah, a, yeah, yeah. it was a sentimental ceremony done for you guys, right? And so one of the sentimental things was, uh-oh, my daughter put this toy that I loved and cherished for my dog that I was going to keep as a memory in there by accident. I'll just go fix it. I'll go grab it. Yeah. I mean, this one's like so like yeah easy very simple i don't understand where the reaction of like no sane person would do that like yes they would that's not an insane thing to do at all it's extremely normal well i got a little ahead a memento like and i saw some of the comments because this is the best of redditor updates and on the original post some people were like listen man i'm not gonna call you an asshole but you gotta think about your life and i was like whoa 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 that bad okay maybe i'm wrong i don't know no no, no, you're not wrong you're not wrong (laughs) all right you ready to vote on this one okay yeah sure all right (laughs) i didn't think it would be that easy (laughs) you're cool yeah decision time all right when it comes to the man who unfortunately has had his favorite toy trapped in a coffin is he the asshole three two one no no no, i don't think so no not at all not at all. No, I, it's very funny to post, will I be the asshole for grave robbing when it's like a completely understandable scenario? Yeah. Um, I guess he shouldn't have told the wife, but uh, not to get too ahead of it. I can't get behind the there wife. There is an this. update. This is like the wife is like, what? Huh? Like, that's so mean. I, whatever. Yeah, go ahead. L- let me tell you what the reaction was. Okay. So he posts a couple of hours later. He says, I got it. And puts up a picture of the penguin. <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. Got it. <laughs> I didn't get much time alone with my dog after she passed. I couldn't say anything at the funeral because my daughter said something beautiful that I didn't want to follow up. As macabre as it sounds, this is the closure I needed. 
getting to spend 10 minutes saying anything I oh. wanted to to my puppy. Oh, we covered man. her in her blanket, so I didn't see her. I just saw the penguin. I grabbed it. I said my spiel. Then I reburied her. There was not a smell. I'm going to be honest. It hurts. It still does. It has made grieving worse doing this, but I know I'll always have a memento with me. What if we move or there's a flood or our house burns down? I'll have very little but memories. At least now I have something of hers I can cherish forever. Oh, I almost like cried a little bit. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, but don't worry. Uh there is an additional update. Oh. Okay. Well, don't cry just yet. Two months later. Previously, I wanted to make an update on my Am I the Asshole post. Well, I couldn't keep it a secret for very long, and I ended up telling my wife. She was livid, but it blew over the next day. Okay. She says she doesn't want it in the house or anything else for that matter. She said she wanted it in the ground with our dog, but didn't want me to go through it again, so we keep it in my safe for the time being. It's never to be brought out, especially shown to our daughter, who is not going to be made aware. I decided to seek some help, as per the suggestion of one poster, and I've been told I have depression. They asked me 20 some odd questions, and the only ones I didn't answer yes to were things like harm. My doctor advised me to hold off getting another pet until I can grieve. It's hard because my last dog was bought by my parents and lived with the family till I moved out and brought it with me. This one that just passed, I did all the work. I drove to get her, I paid for her, I did everything. There's recurring feelings of guilt that I didn't do as good as I could have, and I nitpick things I've done wrong in the past regarding the dog. It's not healthy for me to have another one, at least for now, but it's the hardest situation I've been in in my whole life, and it was playing with my head so much, I did what I did. I'm considering a penguin tattoo as a memorial, as someone suggested. Okay, I guess, like, something I didn't think about before was, like... What do you tell the daughter? But I guess, I don't know. Maybe that doesn't matter oh, you, at all. You can't tell the daughter. Yeah, yeah, You can't yeah. tell the daughter at all. Okay. What well, if you tell the daughter she came back? <laughs> she came back and she brought it. Shut up. <laughs> I just like, like, am I, I feel like I'm the crazy one. Like, I do feel kind of crazy, I right? feel crazy. Like, this was an important thing to you. Like, okay, it's like, like the person says, and I said it before, a memento. It's a memento of other pets that you've had. Like, just because you like wanted to keep something of them doesn't mean like you're struggling with the loss of them. Like, you know, my cat's not going to live forever, but I'm going to be really sad when my cat dies, you know? Like, I don't know. Like, what is so wrong about this? Okay, here's the one thing I can think is the wife might be mad because the daughter put it in there as, as a gesture. And by digging it back up and getting the penguin toy, you're kind of like undoing the, the right. daughter's gesture. Maybe, yeah. That's, like, that is uh, the only thing I can think of that might even have a chance of swaying me the other way. But, like, this guy, like, I don't want to say this guy shouldn't have sought professional help. That's not what I want to say. No, I think that's fine. But it feels like a total jump to be like, I really wanted to get this memento of a previous pet I had. And then my wife got mad at me and... I now am like seeking professional help. It's like, what the fuck? Like, the, I don't know. This does not seem like a catalyst for this at all. Like the penguin, I would have dug up the coffin and got the penguin. Like, this is not, I don't, yeah. I don't no, get I, it. I'm with you. I'm with you. hundred percent. It just, it doesn't compete. Joseph, like, are you going to jump in and tell me I'm wrong? Honestly, I would want you to elucidate this for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, I, I need an explanation if I'm a, a crazy here. No, you're not crazy. Thank I don't you. know what's going on. Okay, God. <sighs> All right. The council has spoken. Weird one. That was a good Very one. strange, very strange. <laughs> yeah, very All odd. Right. Next up, this one comes from relationship advice. Ooh. I love our slash relationship advice. Oh my god, I'm so excited <laughs> for this one. <laughs> this one is from that we had to go to the undelete tool. So this is two weeks old, but is no longer around. Okay. This one is one that many of you may be familiar <laughs> with already. <laughs> Ladies. All right. My partner, 33M, prioritizes and spends more time with a Twitch streamer than me, 29F. So Mariah wrote this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Wait, gotta read the end. Oh, there it is. How can I stop feeling jealous? <laughs> Sorry, honey. Ah, let's go. I like she's like, how do she's not like how do how do I fix it? It's like, how do I stop feeling jealous? Okay, so here's the question. Uh, do you think it's another woman? Or do you think it's like Hassan? It's gotta <laughs> He's be like, Hassan. sorry, man. Like, it's gotta be yeah, like it's just it's a gotta random be, guy. It's please. gotta be like some like like IQless COD streamer. Like yeah. it's, it it's has like, to be it like, like Doctor Disrespect or something. Or, or, or yeah. like <laughs> like Nick Merckx. <laughs> yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. We've been in a long distance relationship for two years, but we've had multiple mutual friends, so we were acquaintances for a couple of years before that. Before we started dating, a mutual friend mentioned to me that he actually moderates for a decently popular female ah, streamer since it. 2016. Damn it. Ah, ah, get fucked, everybody. 
Who do you think it is? Decently popular female streamer, 2016. Oh, uh, 2016. 2016. Uh, yeah, that's an old. That's a, an old Ooh. head. I bet it's like not a big name person. Yeah, well, like, like, I like, bet we could figure it out. But yeah, I'm sure if we dug dug around, we could figure. Let's it out. let's circle the drain here. Yeah. All right. Okay. I didn't think much of it even after we started a relationship because he almost never talked about it unless I brought it up. And the few times that we did talk briefly about it when I brought it up, he said he barely mocked. So I incorrectly inferred it was something he did on occasion or infrequently. It wasn't until a few months later when I checked out her stream and Discord server, I realized how invested he is. He tunes into every single one of her streams and is very active in her community and Discord server when she's not live streaming. I realized what he means by barely mods is that he doesn't often have to take actions, such as timing out or banning users. He is there for every single stream, chatting and hanging out with her and the rest of the community. I know the streamer and her community are important to him. I'm glad he has something in his life that brings him that much joy. The problem is we rarely get to spend any time together. When we began the relationship, we were crazy about each other and spent a lot of one-on-one -on -one time together just talking and gaming. Ugh. After the honeymoon <laughs> period ended, he pretty much never asks to spend time with me like that anymore. I've had to beg and ask to spend time together, and I'd often get no response. It would be any time she was live. I can't get him to watch a movie with me, but when the streamer hosts movie nights, he gladly shows up and watches whatever she plays. He asks to play games with her, but he makes excuses or doesn't respond if I want to game with him. The only time we play games together is when there is an already ongoing group gaming session and we both happen to be there. Occasionally, I'll send him messages at night and he won't get to them until the morning, which is appropriate and understandable. If not for the fact that when the streamer pings him on Discord at 2am in the morning, he will somehow see it and respond to her right then. Nothing has changed. This is still ongoing today, two years later. With that said... My partner and the streamer have never had a romantic relationship or anything of that sort. My discomfort stems from the following. He has been by her side for several years and that does not appear to be changing anytime soon. He is friends with her. They have a personal relationship. So this is unlike other streams that he likes watching. I can tell from the interactions that she values having him around as more than just a moderator. She has sent him flirty messages before, but very, very long ago in their friendship. She doesn't anymore, but she used to share lewd photos of oh herself God, as a okay. part of her uh -oh. content for a few years which my partner has mentioned to me about seeing them before. She's been vocal on many occasions about wanting to meet up with him at a convention. She would like to meet other viewers as well, but he is the only person she ever calls out by name about wanting to meet. My partner denies anything ever having happened between them. Before we met, he denies ever being romantically interested in her. I believe that nothing happened and that she's not interested in him. However, his actions have shown me he prioritizes her over me. I've shared my feelings with him multiple times about their relationship and he'll say there's nothing wrong and I'll be fine for a while until we go through more situations of him not finding time and that I'm dissatisfied. I think the quote, people will find time for what's important to them and realize I'm not as important as the streamer is. He always finds time for her, but there's always an excuse when it comes to me. I love this man. I'm clinging so hard to what it was like when we first fell in love. He would message me all day to let me know he was thinking about me, to check up on me, or spend time with me. As cliche as it sounds, the only issue I have with him is this. I'm not ready to give up on us, but I am unhappy and have been trying to ignore it for a long time. I don't like feeling this jealousy towards someone who doesn't know I exist. I would never ask him to choose between me and her, but I don't think I could ever be happy continuing the relationship. How can I get over the fact that my boyfriend spends a lot of his time with a female streamer when he can't make time to spend with me? I mean, wow. this is... I, so I misread the the lewd photos part. I thought uh, the where that sentence was going to go was that she would share lewd photos directly to him, but just as a part of her content. So misread that. But regardless, I mean, this is literally like what she says is people will, you know, people will spend the time on what's important to them. And I mean, the fact that he's like always making excuses for not doing one on one time and is like always hanging out in this person's streams. I mean, even if it wasn't a female streamer. If it was just any streamer, like, you gotta spend time for the person that is your partner. Like, I'm even ignoring the fact that the streamer's a woman. I'm just like, yeah. Like, if she's trying to hang out, like, on movie nights, especially for a long distance relationship like that, one on one time is arguably even more important because you're trying to cultivate that romance from a long distance away. So, like, I don't know, just like constantly skirting around time with your partner to, just do something else all the time. I I don't know. It, that's the biggest problem I have with this. But go ahead, Joseph. Yeah, no, I want to highlight one thing you said, which is even if you have like these responsibilities, you have to make time for your partner. Yeah, uh, I think that's true. But I think your partner means your Twitch partner. Uh, and of course, <laughs> I hate you so I, I, much. <laughs> You're so that's annoying. So okay, that's such so, a good buzz. I'm sorry. So much going on here. I mean, number one, I, what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> I, let's, just, crazy. let's just get this out of the way. This is insane. This, this is, is out of this insane. fucking world, right? Okay, so like, I don't understand. I think 
she does have a bead on it where it's like she doesn't want to fuck your boyfriend. I think that's probably true. Yeah, yeah, sure. But I like, agree. I don't know how to be like this. Like, welcome to the fucking club. Your boyfriend has a parasocial relationship. Correct. Right? Welcome. Yes. And, welcome. Uh, because she can't give to him the same amount of attention that he's getting from you. He feels like he has to compensate by always being there all the time and interacting with yes. everybody. And it's like, I'm sorry, at this point, you got to get this guy on payroll. I don't know if he is. I, it, it's strange. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I really don't know what to say. I, I feel like for me, the most absurd thing is when he's like, I'll do movie night but I won't do movie night with you. Yes. That, that is like, that's wild. unbelievable. Yeah. Like it sucks, right? I mean, let's it's just, a slap let's just, to the let's face. Just call it it is, is just it's, correct. It sucks, man. Like you yeah. suck, dude. <laughs> yeah. Like there's no other word for it. You suck. <laughs> I want to be clear. I don't think that he like has to stop hanging out with this streamer. I think, you know, it is important, especially for, you know, weird online guys who are in the long distance relationships uh, to have like communities that they can talk to and hang out with yeah, and all that sure. shit. Right. But like at the point where it is impeding on your relationship, it's just like anything else. Like if anything is taking precedence over you to this degree, you got to have a conversation with the guy. The fact that it is vying for the attention of this streamer is like a doubly weird. But even if it was like he was skating too much, like that would be like, hey, man, you got to put down the board and get in bed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah, get off sure. the half pipe. Your, your girl misses you, man. Yeah, she's trying to get some full pipe. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. Yeah, well, great, uh, good. You know, That's I, what I like to hear. Uh, one of the like parts that stood out to me, too, was the fact that he just like won't respond to her. I know. And then she'll, and yeah. then she'll see in like public spaces that he'll like answer a ping of like at mods, mods, I spill my juice. And he's like, <laughs> and, and it's her or whatever. There's a streamer. And he's like, oh, I'm here. What's up? What's going on? I'm, 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 I'm mod. I can do this. And it's like, well, I, you know, my girlfriend, whatever, 2 a.m. You can, you can wait until the morning. This? No, 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 no. My volunteer work for this streamer I love comes first. You? Eh. 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 Whatever. <laughs> like, I do appreciate it. I think it's great. I, I will say, um, I think there is a way out for the woman, which is, what if you integrate yourself into the community under an assumed identity oh you like make a twitch account Ooh. and then you hang out and chat you start pinging him he's like hey mods can you come help me with this and it's him and you're just like i want to have a quick gaming session and that's how you game with your boyfriend yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you wrap around to like him finding a new girl and he's like he comes over to her and like in real life and he's like babe i'm sorry i think i found someone new and she's like don't worry it's, it's me, me. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a you know do you like pina coladas but about like twitch <laughs> like, do you like spamming poggers uh, okay. And being well, okay. part of a hype train. Not, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is off the dome. Yeah. Can we talk about the streamer sending the mod like lewds? No, she didn't. No. She okay. So wait, they did she not? Direct. From my understanding, what it is, is she used to have put up photo sets as part of her content. Yeah. I don't think it means only fans, oh. but like maybe on Patreon, you put up like slightly like suggestive photo sets. This is something people do. Okay. I and, got, um, got it. I would do it. He I'm mentioned like offhanded. He was like, oh, and guess what? Uh, I've I've seen them, which first off. Why cool. would you say that? Like, that's oh, just a God. weird thing. Awesome. Come on, man. <laughs> like, I I don't know. The parasocial brain takes over, right? Danny, when you're on a blind date, do you be like, and by the way, I saw MBT's cock in college. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. They no, go, like, we were, oh, we were roommates. In fact, here, I actually have picture. <laughs> I don't think you have pictures. I don't. But <laughs> we could take some pictures if you subscribe to my high tier Patreon. No, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> the guy also says uh, she has sent him flirty messages before. Still weird, right? Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, yeah. Maybe that's why I thought like that. that that's why we okay. thought it, it was for a, sure. It was a long time ago. It was a long time I don't ago. know. Like, that's fine. But like. It's just, that is just so... I get feeling jealous. Yeah, yeah, like, of course. Like, I think I'd understand feeling jealous, and I understand, like, in a normal scenario where you're both kind of confident in your relationship, no problem, duh, who cares, right? Like, as long as it, the boundaries are normal... But like when you don't ever talk to your partner and you're spending 30,000 hours with your parasocial, you know, fave, the like, oh, like, I, she used to send me flirty messages... 
that also in it of itself is a strange dynamic, right? Yeah. Like yeah. when you like yeah. flirt with your mods or whatever, which like is if you're consenting adults, who cares, right? Like you can do whatever and you you Oh, get... I, I think you should be banned from fucking anyone who's a fan of you, real quick. <laughs> I, I wanna go on record. No one who creates content online should ever fuck a fan. It's it's I over for 100%. the any fuck a fan contest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's over because I won it, baby. No. Uh, no. No, I, I don't know, man. I, I guess it would be a little bit different if it was like his job, if it was like a huge streamer and he was being paid to like I guess like manage them or like right, uh, right. you know make content or something but to my understanding it looks like he's just chilling. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I think it it's mostly seems fine. And like there's no like sexual or any kind of like a romantic relationship and it sounds like it's normal from on that end. I just thought it was like that's a little strange but sure, I get it. And then it, you know, moves into kind of like him being like no no, there's nothing happened and I and I believe it. Um but I get it for her to be like, oh, man, like, and that and all of this happening and I'm getting no attention. It's like, it's, it's, this sucks. This is the worst. Yeah, this is really blows. It's like, it really is just, I don't have time for you. I, it's just, I want to spend my time doing something else. I don't want to spend time with you. That's what it is. Yeah. It's, just, yes. it's just, he's not saying it, but that's what he's doing. You know? Yeah. I, I, I hate to be like this, like. Because this sounds really mean, especially to Twitch viewers, which I would never want to malign because I love them so much. <laughs> <laughs> but this guy is not ready for a relationship. Yes. Like, w correct. Absolutely correct. correct. Yeah. This guy is no idea how to be in a relationship with someone he likes or loves uh, due to this. I'm sorry. It's fixable. If it he is. does a lot of changes things, he needs to change a lot of shit. And. Uh, like Joseph said earlier, you don't have to hard quit. I don't even, she's not even saying he has to stop watching his favorite stream. She's like, could you please watch a movie with me? Yeah. Like, like could you please play a video game with me? She just wants to have no, fun like with you, anything. man. Like, oh, she just wants to spend time with you, bro. Like, it's, like you're having uh, this problem at 33 years old, dude. Like, oh my God. I understand that life gets busy and when there are responsibilities that get in the way of you and your partner spending time together there are things you can do around that like scheduling a date night like that's a good thing mm. to do but this dude's not even like at that point where his like responsibilities are in the way it's just like i don't want to spend time with you i want to watch my streamer and be super parasocial and weird it's like uh... i don't know man just just he's either not ready for a relationship or needs to be told that he's not doing something right in this relationship so he can fix it. And if he doesn't fix it, then just get rid of the dude. I'm sorry that it's been two yeah. years, but man. Yeah. Uh, you're long distance. It's over. Yeah, it, yep. You had a fun little time at the beginning where you were having e-sex over Discord. But now it's time to hit the bricks, buddy. Yeah. Hit the bricks. Get in the new VC. You deserve better. You do. It's just you deserve better, for sure. Yeah. 33, by the way. 33-year-old man. 33-year-old man. I think we can use... A tool that we haven't used in a while. And that is... Decision time. When it comes to the 33-year-old parasocial Andy, how are we feeling about him? Three, two, one... Kill! kill! Okay, good. You guys kill! are on kill, too. I was like, I hope they're gonna say kill. <laughs> I need a big button. That's like a big, like, merch <laughs> thing the we need. Kill it's just a kill button. We need a kill button. We need a kill button. <laughs> and, like, the Redditor drops through, like, a, like, it opens a chute on the stage, <laughs> and they go, Woo! Wherever they are in this moment in time, when we say kill, they just like <laughs> have you seen the the psychological thriller The Box? No. No. Oh, so the plot of The Box is a guy comes up with a box and he says, "If you press this button, one person on Earth will die, and we'll give you a million dollars." And the trick is that it actually kills the last person who said yes to the box. Right. So. Oh. oh. But what if instead of that, a guy comes up and says. If you press this button, it will kill a Redditor, and we will take one million dollars from you. Are you still pressing the button? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like working at a McDonald's at age 78. I'm like, I did what I had to do, baby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. some things are priceless, you know? The council has spoken. Speaking of priceless, let's talk about the price of a first experience. Uh, this comes from AITIH. And it was posted about eight months ago from a user called Ready Preparation 5472, which oh, is a perfect, I'm reading this title and perfect it's... name for this. <laughs> okay. Title of this one is, uh, am I the asshole for telling my husband that he has to let my dad 
witness his colonoscopy? <laughs> Why? Uh, real coffee. <laughs> Why? Oh, what the fuck? Are you against yeah, wait, that? What's, what's up? your problem? Wait, what's going on, man? What, you don't want to come? You, I invited you, you. I have to see my son-in-law get a finger raised. <laughs> well, okay. That's not what they said, but that would be justified for different reasons. <laughs> All right, so the first line of text is, I guess this post breaks the rules on Am I the Asshole, so here I am. Oh, you think? Weird. Oh, you think really? this might? I, I'm surprised they weren't all over this with the stupid fucking branding about proctology they have everywhere no on that. Yeah, this is a perfect example to actually use it. All right. Oh, I see what it is. It's actually not a real question and more a thought experiment. My mother-in-law wants to be in the room when I give birth. She's an unpleasant and pushy woman, and none of her own daughters have allowed her near them when they gave birth. My sisters-in-law are 12 years older than my husband and are done. I have the last chance for my mother-in-law to see the birth of a grandchild. I have zero interest in letting that judgmental woman see me down there. She has objected to me from the beginning because I have tattoos. I am not in any way interested in being a stay-at-home wife. I have a career I plan on continuing. And also I have tattoos down there that are none of her business. My husband is her baby boy. He's a good husband and has stood up for me against her many times. When she tried to interfere with our wedding, he put his foot down. When she tried to convince him we should move to his hometown where he could work from, but I would not be able to find an employer in my line of work, he said no, because my career is important to me. And while we could live off his uh, earnings and the cost of living is lower there, our combined earnings are better together. She has started crying to him that all she wants to see is a grandchild born. All her friends have experienced it and she wants it. He is starting to crumble under the blackmail. So I made it clear the only way I will agree is if before the birth, my husband made arrangements for my father to witness him getting a colonoscopy. He would need a ride anyways, so two birds, one stone. He said I'm being ridiculous, but I said none of my brothers would let my dad see them getting a camera shoved up their ass, and he felt left out. He finally understood my point, but his mother is upset that I use such a stupid comparison. She says it isn't the same thing at all. I offered to change it to me watching her get a Brazilian, and she hasn't called in a week. I know seeing a baby being born might be her dream, but I'm not interested. Am I the asshole? <laughs> These what? these posts are insane. This is the Reddit is the only place you could see this shit. Reddit is the only place. What is this? Okay, am I stupid? Everyone in this story is behaving like a cartoon yes. character. What you the are correct. What the fuck is happening? What? Oh, I'm I'm hearing word right now that the mother-in-law has called back and she said, "Okay, you want to know why the proctology example doesn't work? If thing were different, then yeah, different yeah. thing." True. That's actually true here. <laughs> what the hell is oh my this? God. What is this comparison? This is the most like soy redditor ever. <laughs> I, oh my god i okay so i guess i i'll chime in here because i agree with you jordan i think this is insane thank you but i i like that there's like there's two types of soy redditors there's people who are like um that happened can't believe i saw deadpool doing the end sync dance in the new movie <laughs> can you say epic win <laughs> yeah and then another group of people that just lives in their shower making up arguments that they win yeah they're like yes, yes, oh yes, yes, man yes. oh i would have blasted this person's ass i would have fucking i would have smeared them across the fucking lectern <laughs> if they had dared say that shit to me and they invent all these great comebacks for all these great situations that they'll never be in for instance i mean i i can't imagine a redditor ever giving birth like let alone having sex <laughs> so i'm sure this is fake but the concept that like Oh, you want to see the birth of a grandchild? Well, only if my dad gets to see your asshole. Is like, like just, oh my god. <laughs> Can you just be normal? The answer to this question is of course, no. No, it's invasive and you don't get along. That's the end of the conversation. It doesn't have to be like, hmm, well, would you like if I did this? And it's some stupid shit that they cooked up using like the Wu-Tang name generator for their username. It's terrible. I don't like, I'm trying to be, I, I hate that I'm doing this. I'm trying to be charitable. Yeah. Like, you don't like the woman. You've never gotten along. That's fair. She sounds like she sucks. 100%. Okay? I, I am with you on that. But I'm not even saying you have to, like, kowtow to her being in the room with, like, during the birth of a child. Like, I know it's invasive, but can you at least empathize with the mother-in-law, like, a little? Like, oh, she wants to be there for the birth of the child. Like, th is that something that you have to be, like, 
abrasive to I'm, like again i'm not saying that she should just let her be there and, no, and just I, like no there there is no circumstance in which you can let her be no there. way yeah, like I clearly agree. they don't get along clearly she said some mean and nasty things about this woman over the course of their relationship with it sounds like she's one of these boy mom freaks and yeah, like, yeah. Uh, yeah definitely you know uh, is, is like that i think the solution to this one is you kind of have to give in that you have to be like, no, you can't watch the birth happen, but maybe we can get you in like the hospital earlier. You know, we won't have to come visit you or something, or maybe we can send you a picture from the room, or maybe I can have my husband text you or like call you when the baby has been right. born and you can be the first one he tells or something. Yeah. Uh, but like, this is stupid as fuck. This is the dumbest thing ever. This is just like so... Ugh. Why does this person say I Ugh. am the last chance for my mother-in-law to see the birth of a grandchild? Like, because uh, all of her kids are done. Having no, I kids. know, I yes. know the actual earlier. reason why. But like, this is a ridiculous sentence, right? Like, this is insane. Yeah, the yeah. idea that you're like, well, I'm the last chance she'll be able to see one. What? I'm sorry. That's that's a YP. That's not that's not an MP. That's a Y. That's a you problem. That ain't my problem. I, I know it's there, like, she's trying, like, I get it, I get it, you're trying to see the daughter, you want to be part of the family, whatever, but, like, come on, the, like, what, why does that responsibility shift to this person? It's insane. Yeah, it's, I mean, clearly, the mother-in-law is doing a lot of emotional blackmail. Yes, like the yes, post exactly. Says, yeah, 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 the, doing a, a ton of emotional blackmail, and... I'm trying to, but it is something that I do kind of get, you know, That's like, where I guess I, I get where Joseph says, like, maybe we can, you know, do, you do any have of to those make like compromises, maybe like. if they're being nice, you know, like, okay, okay. Yeah. I, I see what you're saying. I know you will want to be there for the baby. Here's what I can offer and like meet you know them halfway. Why. Maybe. Why not? Like, why not use this as like your blue chip, right? Why not use this like. Okay, here's why I don't want you in the fucking delivery room. Because you've done this, you've done this, you've done this. And, like, actually just, like, air out this fucking dirty laundry. And maybe something might, like, maybe she'll be, I mean, she'll, it'll be a lot for the mother-in-law to deal with. But just when, like, you've been rude, you've been mad about my tattoos, like, I don't like you right now. Here are the reasons why, like, this is why I'm not letting you in there. Like, I'm willing to compromise with you, but I don't want to be, I don't, you're not going to be in the delivery room. And here's why. Like, yeah. this sounds like a great opportunity to put your foot down and tell them why you're putting your foot down, right? Yeah. Like, you can be confrontational once in a while without being a fucking Redditor about it and being like, well, your husband has to see my husband's well, asshole. The, exactly. Like, like, That's the, fir <laughs> the first reply to this post is giving birth is not a spectator sport. No means no. It's just that simple. If she yeah. says no, it's a no. That I'm yeah. having the baby. Done. It's over. There's no yeah. arguments. There's no like, oh, let's do this, that, that. No. If she says no, no, she's having the baby. Like, that's it. <laughs> yeah, I agree for sure. And I also think that the poster could use this I agree. Yeah, leverage yeah. to, you know, put their foot down and tell them why they have all these problems with I them. agree. I think that's like, it's confrontational, but it's a great way to do that. You don't you have know? to. It's up to you, but it's a yeah, great yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah. It's You can use this to just say you can be uh, more compromising. You cannot. Like, it's her decision, right? I just, like, oh, man. I, I didn't even think about before you guys came in and said how Reddit the answer is to be like, what if you got a colonoscopy and my dad yeah. watched? Like, oh, my God. <laughs> It's hard to get a handle on Reddit Am I the Asshole posts where the other person in the story, the person that they have taken an action against, is uh -huh. clearly an asshole. Yes. yes I because like yep. a lot of the time uh -huh. it's like, oh, well, you can do anything because this person is being so yes. outrageous that at this point anything is justified. But if you kill the voice in your head that says that, you come away being like, why are you being so strange in yeah, this interaction? Yeah, you're just being fucking weird. And like, let, let me tell you, people like the mother-in-law, they love this shit. They love to be told something ridiculous and unreasonable so that when they explain this story to other people, they will look like the good guy. All right? Yeah. Like here, she is going to be able to paint this story as like, I asked my daughter-in-law for one selfless act, my last chance to see a grandchild born, and she told me, 
only if her dad gets to look up my son's asshole because she clearly doesn't want anything to do with me. And, blah, 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 blah. and it's like, no, you were being unreasonable. She just responded like an idiot Redditor in an MCU movie. Like it's yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so as, as long as you get past the you can do anything you want to someone who is being a jerk off, then yes, it's strange and weird. And I don't know why she would say something like this. I, oh my God. I, look at the, I, the other thing is really puts the husband in a bad position. Yes. It's like now he has to deal with the, the mother-in-law like whining. It's like, oh man. Okay. Because it doesn't solve anything because now the, the no, of course not. I mean, not that maybe this person would, you're never going to solve the things, but whatever. But you now lose ground on where you can stand because you made a stupid Reddit joke of like, oh, watch the colonoscopy. Weird. Like now the, you know, obviously the mother is going to be like, well, that's not a good comparison, like blah, blah, blah. And then whip back with like a, okay, well, watch me with my Brazilian wax. Oh my God. I get that you're mad, but like, please God. Yeah. Re you're real funny. You know, this shit would do crazy on <laughs> uh, Reddit. You would get so many wholesome awards. You would get so many golds, but like, no, this is a real person you're going to have to interact with for the rest of your life. And getting an epic owns to impress internet people is going to make you feel good for a week, at which point it's going to be something that's brought up against you every day until the end of fucking time. Like, yeah. show some self-restraint. Part of being the adult in this situation is being like, you're being unreasonable, I won't entertain it. Instead Correct. of, I'm going to rise to your level and do Correct. a bit. Correct. I will not yeah. entertain it is exactly what you're supposed to do. Like, it just whips right back into, there does not need to be an epic own here, which... I get it if you get upset or mad and you just you just go off, right? Sure. But like you need to really be the adult in the room and understand that you have more power that way, right? Like you you yeah. are in yeah. much of a, a, a larger power if you are just like, no, I don't need to explain. Mm. I'm having birth. The answer is no. Plain and simple. Correct. God, you know it's bad if Joseph is being mad at somebody for doing the bit. <laughs> it's because it's a shitty bit if this bit rocked he'd be like hell yeah <laughs> that's true it is a it's yeah, just it's, bad. yeah it's that's not true a funny that's bit. true it's it's not a good bit um but it, it's like this woman you would expect wants a relationship with this grandchild over the course of her uh her life so you have all the power in this situation like you get to be Correct. like well guess what bitch i get to determine if you're gonna see this kid or not so you're gonna do what yes. i want and instead you're gonna throw that away on doing jokes Correct. Ugh. Correct. There's a version of God, this like where I would be like, hell yeah. You stood your ground. Like, good shit. I don't care that you were an asshole. Like, that was mm -hmm. that was correct. Like, e even if you were a jerk about it. it but like this is like, ah, oh, great. Oh, good job. You know, like now she's like being like, what if the Brazilian way I cut all this could be okay, great. Now you're being an asshole to not just the mom, but to your husband too. So anyway. It, it, we, we're we're talking and hyper focusing, of course, on her response. But the overall post, if true, of course, is that like, yeah, this the husband's mother is insane. Oh, we're gonna get shit from this because we always get shit from this when we focus on the poster who is asking the question instead of the third party that's an asshole. Like, I think we can all agree that the mother-in-law is being ridiculous insane. and should oh, not be yes, entertained under any circumstances. That's the reason we are right. focusing on the right. woman because the other one is so obvious we shouldn't even have to yes, talk about exactly, it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. One hundred percent. There's no point in deliberating on if the mother-in-law is an asshole. Like, duh. Of course. Obviously. Like, and also, it's the poster asking, "Am I the asshole?" You know what I mean? Like, All that's right. what we're deliberating on. So, I don't know. This is just, yeah. You guys ready to vote on this Let's one? Let's just vote on this. Yeah. Like, oh, my God. Decision time. When it comes to the epic wholesome Chungus who came up with this <laughs> hilarious <laughs> comeback to her mother-in-law, is she the asshole? Three, two, one. Yes. yes. Oh, my God. Uh, I, I guess so. Well, mm. oh, I, I didn't know we were splitting on well, this. All oh, right. Splitting you want to you wanna talk I mean, it out? Maybe. I was just confused because, like, I don't know. Well, hold on. No, no, no. I don't want to shut you out. Well, I don't shut you it's out. just that I it's it's a bit of semantics of, like, how do you judge this? Do you judge the title literally? Uh, then, yes, that was an asshole move. But do I judge the whole post in tandem and, you know, let's meet in the middle sure. here. The mother-in-law is the biggest asshole in this story for okay. sure. Correct. But responding in this way was also an asshole move. Okay. Yes. Yes. Would you agree Absolutely with that? agree with that? Yes. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, well, that's what's tough about Am I the Asshole is that Am I the Asshole is painted in, like, the question in itself is painted in such a way where it's like, am I the only asshole here or I, am I the bigger asshole? And I don't think that's, like, always correct to evaluate it that way. It's right. like, I mm-hmm. always look at it as, was there a way for me to handle this that would have not made me an asshole or the asshole? You know what I mean? And there is such an easy answer for this, which is, yeah, like, of course, there is a very simple thing you could have done. Basically anything but this. Yes. So. Yeah. All right. Yeah. No, I, I get it. Maybe I'm, I think I'm getting like lost in the sauce of like, okay, what's kind of the general consensus? How do people feel? And of course, I think that like, this is the kind of style post from like eight months ago where a lot of people responding would be like, no, you're not the asshole. Like you're the mother, you're having the birth. And like, we discussed that. And like, that's something that. I like we all understand is like, of course. Um, and like yeah. in the grand scheme of things, you know, you're not an asshole for not like like telling this woman no. Of course not. Like oh, and, yeah, yeah, but yeah, you're yeah. the asshole just for saying these like it's jerky comments. Like, yes. You could, like, come on. I get it. Yeah. 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 No, I I, I yeah. agree. See so with us? I is think it so. A I think it's a three oh, yeah. The council has Spoken. Some days I just do three in a row that make me want the death of Reddit.com. <laughs> <Yeah>. Correct. <laughs> I've been saying this. Uh, I've been saying this. You have been saying it. Credit words do. You say it frequently. You do say it frequently. I do. I, I, do. I appreciate and it. As it is my birthday, Happy I birthday. demand Reddit dies now. <laughs> yeah. The one true gift that would make this birthday special. Listen, I'm going to give you a gift, and it's going to be you going back to the office. And coming over. Uh, oh, that's you know true. What I'm so I can finally get a broner oh, again. Yeah. <laughs> that's so I can good. finally oh, yeah. my weenie can get hard. <laughs> you know, um, as a BlackRock manager, I, f- I found that most people uh, enjoy going back to the office. They get a little uh, frisky in there. Mm, yes, sir. Yeah, I do yeah. get. Yes, sir. I do get all my jigglies all my, my jigglies? all going when I see my beige cubicle. Mm. <laughs> Go jack off, you two. See you next week. Yay. Bye. bye. <laughs>